What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube and welcome to a rather unique video. With X and Y's release and lack of certain content, it has been speculated what the new games in the Pokemon world would be. It was theorized that there would be a third game in the X and Y set, set out in a new region, then the Hoenn remakes. Although this was never confirmed, it follows the pattern Pokemon games are released in. Recently, a rumor was posted on a site called Dual Pixels and has been floating around forums and featured on articles ever since. The rumor was supposedly from a leaker who claims to know about Generation 7. The leaker provided enough information to cover important parts of the game, but do keep in mind that this information is not at all confirmed and can be 100% fake. But since other websites are adding their own information and changing the original information, I decided to go in depth about the original posting. So let's take a look at what could very well be the next generation of Pokemon. The games talked about in this leaking are referred to as Pokemon Plus and Pokemon Minus. It is claimed to be the code name of the project and is also the pre-final names of the games. Similar to how Kalos was based off of France, Pokemon Plus and Minus are to be based off of the southeast region of Asia. It is also described to be made up of a large peninsula and several smaller islands. These tunnels are connected to each other through water bridges and underground tunnels to reduce the amount of water that would be on the map. There are also physical features in the region that resemble real sites in Southeast Asia, such as a Sloking statue sharing resemblance to the reclining Buddha in Thailand. This region also has many new additions in it, such as an actual bank which connects to your Pokebank account and can be used like a PC to withdraw and deposit Pokemon. Now let's move on to the supposed starters of this generation. Like usual, there are to be three starters following the original Grass, Water, and Fire Triangle. Although these Pokemon are all unnamed at the moment, we have a general physical appearance to visualize. The Grass starter seems to resemble a weak plant, evolving into an electricity producing palm tree, ultimately becoming Grass and Electric. The Fire starter is supposedly a tiny goat Pokemon with fire blowing out of its horns. These horns develop as it evolves into a larger goat, becoming Fire and Fairy. The Water Starter is a squat, tear-shaped humanoid Pokemon. As it evolves, it grows a larger head and a pair of arms to hold its large head, becoming water and steel like Empoleon. A set of new and unique gyms and leaders are also talked about. There are to be unique gyms that focus on different battling styles, as well as gyms that use a certain group of Pokemon rather than one type. One of the first few gyms supposedly used pre-evolved baby Pokemon such as Smoochim, Magby, and Alekid. The flying gym later on in the game apparently focuses on sky battles, and getting the gym badge requires you to defeat the leader in a sky battle. In addition, there are apparently mixed gyms using two related types rather than focusing on one, such as a vampire-like gym leader that uses uses ghost and dark types, and military-like leader that uses fire and steel types. The new antagonistic team of this region seems to have a rather original goal as well. They are described to be a group of so high zealot type people and have a more religious goal as the villains. The story that ties in with these villains are also interesting as well. The villains discover that the player's best friend is a reincarnation of a special person who is reincarnated every 100 years. The villains believe in an old tradition where everyone was given a Pokemon egg to be with till death, and that Pokemon determines the role of that person. These villains want to maintain that tradition and are against the modern trend of capturing multiple Pokemon and being a Pokemon trainer. They want to travel to the sacred shine of the legendary Pokemon and awaken it in hope that they can turn everything back to normal. They restrict the player from being with his friend, treating him as a high class leader, claiming the friend has unreal power, like the ability to mega evolve his Pokemon without a mega ring. At the end of the game, it is apparently revealed that the reincarnated person must be mortally sacrificed to awaken the legendaries. Now speaking of the legendaries, the mascot legends for these two games are detailed. The mascot legend of Pokemon Plus resembles the appearance of a Shifu lion, well known as the Chinese Guardian Lions. Statues of the Shifu lion are created wherever mythical power is believed to exist. This legendary is a psychic and ground type and has plus shaped pupils. The mascot legend of Pokemon Minus seems to be a unique Pokemon with hurricane like appendages, giving it many arms. The description seems to imply that it is a shape-shifting fast Pokemon. Its typing is Ghost and Fairy and has minus-shaped pupils. You all know shiny Pokemon. They are a rare and unique version of a Pokemon with an alternate color palette. Similar to shiny Pokemon, there is to be a new kind of rare variation of Pokemon found in Pokemon Plus and Pokemon Minus. These new kinds of Pokemon apparently change the game significantly. 
Since Shadow Pokemon is already a thing and is tied into Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, it is possible that they are making a return in the new rumored games and become a larger part of the plot. And finally, miscellaneously, there is to be a more improved PSS with more communication integrated, a stronger hardware to run on, and more cooperative features in the game where you and a friend can play together. The leak also hints towards the possibility that this may be on the Wii U, however it isn't directly stated. But that's all we were told. Again, none of this information is confirmed. In fact, Pokemon Plus and Minus might not even exist, but there is a possibility that this may be, as these games can take a few years to plan and create, and information can exist on them. I would go into my own opinions on this, but I'll save that for another time as I'm really excited to hear what you guys think about this. So be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like. Also be sure to let me know what your opinion on this leaking is. I'll be covering many more theories and rumors like such, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.